USB rechargeable electric arc lighters have been on the market for a few years now. The first crop of them all worked like this with probes opposite one another. S designed for you to stick a cigarette in between there, uh, but it doesn't work too well if uh, you're a pipe smoker because you got to you know, stick it down. Uh, the first type that did have probes sticking down was this kind. This is the more powerful model with six probes. Uh, really powerful sparks here. Uh, and it does work if you've got a fully packed pipe, but if you're trying to relight the end of it, it can't really go down deep into a pipe. We didn't get something that really did work that way until last year uh, with this model. Uh, it goes by uh, uh, different names at different websites, uh, LC Fun or K Casa. I'll put uh, links down in the description. Uh, solidly built, uh, all metal construction. I, I've dropped it a few times, keeps chugging along. Uh, slide down the cover, push the button. You've got uh, seven seconds of sparks until you uh, push the button again or close it. And uh, it is a very small diameter on the end, can fit, uh, fit down even in a small diameter pipe, even, even like a really small one. It uh, fits all the way down there. Uh, let's give it a try. Yeah, these work great, but uh, they do have uh, a couple flaws, which uh, I uh, would like to point out. One is uh, the fact that it stays on after you let go of the button. That seems like an obvious safety hazard. Like uh, if you drop it, it's going to be, you know, all sparking in your lap. Um, it is a little annoying that uh, it times out uh, after uh, about 10 seconds uh, and then you have to close it and reopen it to turn it back on again. Um, I do like the simplicity of this, of you just open it and it's on and you push the button and it's sparking until you let go and you can just tap it. Um, that's kind of nice. But uh, the other uh, flaw with this will be uh, more of an issue with some people than others. And that is that it is really a right-handed only design. Um, I mean, you can sort of learn to do it with your left hand, uh, you know, with your index finger, uh, open it that way and turn it on that way. But it's... It's a little awkward to be holding it that way. It just makes it all the more likely you're going to drop it and uh, you don't want to drop it, as we said. Uh, but uh, they work great. Only $18. Uh, I've been carrying this every day. Uh, this is something that just came out from a company called Power Practical. They had a Kickstarter. I was eagerly awaiting it. Uh, just got it. Um, a little disappointed. Uh, swing and a miss. Uh, it does have some nice things, uh, you know, first and foremost, it is ambidextrous. You're not going to have any issue with that. Um, it, uh, a, a little bigger than this, it is actually lighter weight, uh, because of the plastic construction. This is hundred grams. This is only 60. Um, by plastic construction, I don't mean to imply it's cheaply built. I mean, it's quality plastic. This is, you know, well-engineered, well-built, uh, uh, very good. It just has some usability issues and, uh, well, just it just doesn't work as well as this one. I mean, it's one, the end is much bigger, so it doesn't fit down into the bottom of pipes uh, as very well, especially uh, smaller ones. Uh, they did include this little vent here. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, if you had like a really small pipe, they, you could like, uh, in theory, be drawing air through, <laughs> But, you know, no, it just works better if you've got a smaller head, really, and fit down in there. Um, but, uh, well, let's, uh, let's compare it as well. Uh, let's uh, give it a try. Uh, three clicks to turn it on. One, two, three, and then the light comes on, and then you have to hold it down before it sparks. So, now I'm trying. I don't know. It seems like this is more powerful. I get, you know, better ignition with it. 
Um, but there's also just some usability issues with this. I mean, the, the way you turn it on, the three clicks, one, two, three, that's not obvious. You're going to have to explain to someone when you hand it to them how to turn it on. Um, yeah, or they'll be struggling with it. And uh, the cap uh, trigger thing is weird. I mean, you push it down and it stays down and that makes sense. But then you keep pushing it and it stays down and you're like, what? I mean, because you hand it to someone and they're going to think it's a clicky pen and you keep clicking it and it goes up and it goes down. But this, uh, you have to pull it, push it this way, pull it back to get it to clear. And so actually, you can see the cap has a little wiggle, but that's intentional. Uh, so you push it down and in to clip it into the edge and pull it back. And once you get it, it's easy, but it's not obvious. And, you know, obvious is better. Um, uh, it has a second button up here, uh, for, uh, you know, pipes or going into candles, but, uh, that gets disabled if the button is up, uh, even to turn it off, which is weird. You can't turn it off from the bottom, uh, if the safety is up, which is, uh, weird. Uh, anyway, uh, 30 bucks. 18 bucks. This would be my choice unless uh, you're left-handed and this will frustrate you. Power Practical, with their Kickstarter for this, they also introduced this model, which I like a lot more. Uh, it does have the same issues uh, where uh, three clicks to turn it on and uh, you have to hold it down a second to, before it comes on. But uh, I like it. We're going to keep it in the kitchen. Uh, there are a bunch of similar ones. I think this is the, might be the first one that has, uh, four probes facing forward in the wand style models. Um, uh, it's yeah, a little annoying. You have to hold down the button, uh, to, uh, make it come on. Uh, that's the same issue with this one. And that, again, one thing I really do like about this is you can just tap, 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 tap. And with this one, uh, I would like it better if it was a momentary switch, but it's push on, push off, push on, push off. And this one, you've got to hold it down so you can't like tap, 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 which is uh, annoying. Um, I understand why they did it, but uh, it's, it's annoying. Anyway, there you have it.